What up folks, it's Alex and I'm here with a three minute Thursday for you today. I wanted to make a super quick video to show you how to do this real easy Stranger Things style glow text effect. It looks something like this. Now I say Stranger Things, it works equally well as a bog standard neon text effect as well. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and get straight to it, shall we? So we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab. First thing to do, open up the effects library. We're going to expand the toolbox, we're going to go to Titles, and then we're going to grab a Text Plus, then drag that onto our timeline. Now we're going to give it a click, open the Inspector, within the Fusion tab, within the T for Text, we're just going to type in Stranger Things within the Styled Text box. We can just mess with any of the tracking we want to, so I'm going to change the line spacing, bring it together a little bit. And we're going to change the colour to make it red. And then we can change the text as well. Now I've actually found a free text online which you can download. It's called Ben Benguit, I think is how you pronounce it. There's a link in the description so you can download and use it if you want to. So then we're going to head into this tab here, which is the shading tab. First thing you want to do, where it says appearance, there's four little icons. So the first one gives you standard text where everything's filled in like so. If you give the second one a click, you get a text outline. So we're starting to get somewhere with this Stranger Things look. Now the next thing we need to do is just to add a bit of a red glow to finish it off. All we're going to do, where it says select element, change that to number two and then click enabled. Now number two all it does is give you a red outline. So we can't really see it because we've already got a red outline selected. So we don't need to change anything within here. Just scroll down until you see softness, expand that. And all we're going to do is give this some X and Y softness. So we're going to bring those up. I find 10 works well, but feel free to experiment as you wish. And then we're just going to increase the glow as well. And there you go. If we head back into the text tab, let's change this to be neon. We're going to change to a different font. I've got one called Reno, which works well. Let's increase this. We're going to change the color to a nice blue and then we're going to change the shading color to match blue as well and there you go using the exact same technique you've got a real nice easy neon glow effect as well last but not least if you want to make the neon flicker just put your playhead at the beginning still within the shading tab click on this little icon here to add a keyframe at the beginning and then disable the element number two which is our glow we're going to move forward just a little bit and then we're going to turn it back on and then we can skip forward a few frames, turn it off again, forward a few more, and then we'll turn it back on. And then if we play that through, it'll flicker on and off. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, pop them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see more DaVinci Resolve, some tech videos, and the odd vlog here and there as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye. You can't have not focused this time.